Hi guys, today I want to discuss the half 8.3 question. So in the 8.3 question, we are given a volume change on mixing of a solution obeys this relation. So you all know this uh, relation, uh, which is a parabolic type of equation. And we need to derive the partial molar volumes of each component. So there are two components, first component and the second component. And we need to derive the delta v1 bar of first component and delta v1 bar of the second component and then we need to demonstrate the b part which is delta v mix equals to x1 which is a mole fraction into the delta v1 plus x2 into delta v2 so we need to demonstrate these two let's do this so we know this equation and we also know if you are given uh, let's say if you are given uh, this one delta v mix then we know an equation which can help us derive the delta v1 in the similar fashion you can also derive delta v2 bar in the same way but we just use this one now we need to differentiate so the delta v mix so this is the part i'm taking here so this part i'm taking and i'm presenting here and i'm writing the formula which i have so here i'm taking the 2.7 which is a constant sma so that I need not write 2.7 which is tedious. Now when we differentiate this, we know this is a normal derivative. Right? And whenever you hear of this uh, one, though, this is a partial derivative. So in partial derivative, you take the x2 is constant. So at that time when you do this dou of dou x1, of a x1 x2 square you can take x2 square outside and differentiate the a x1 so you can take a also outside so which is 1 so you can do like this but which is now we have a derivative so when you are doing derivative we should check whether they are independent of each other or not so we have these two so we need to check whether these two are independent. Now, what do you mean by independent? You cannot express one uh, component in terms of the other one. So you, you here you have x1 plus x2 equals to 1, which is a mole fraction rule. The total mole fraction is 1. So you, ca you can uh, represent them in an equation. So you can represent x1 in terms of 1 minus x2 or x2 in terms of 1 minus x1 so they are not independent of each other they are actually dependent on each other now when I am differentiating here so this is for partial derivative but I need to do the derivative so what I do is I take dou x1 and this one and I write the x2 square which is here x2 square I take as 1 minus x1 square which I have told here and now I expand this so this is a minus b whole square into b so this if I expand it it's nothing but b minus x yeah it's b my p of a square minus 2 times a b square plus b cube so b here is x1 so when when i put this here and a is equals to 1 so you get this equation which is a simple algebraic equation that you can derive 
and when i differentiate this i get this finally a is constant so a is outside and when you differentiate this is 1 minus 4x1 plus 3x1 square now i have the original equation delta v1 which you see above and for that i have delta v mix into 1 minus x1 into this one so this is the equation which it looks like and what i did here is i simplified this equation so in the process of simplification i changed this 1 minus x1 into x2 and i have taken common terms out so in this term in this the common terms are a x2 a x2 i take them common out so i have x1 plus x2 into this one again i have x2 so i write 1 minus x1 because uh, here all the terms are in x1 so i change this one is on, this one also in terms of x1 so when i expand this one i finally get this equation so here I have x2 and here I have all in terms of x1. Now in the similar fashion, this is delta v1 of partial property, partial volume of the first component. Now for the second one, I do the same thing. So you have this equation which I write here. Now I have, when I differentiate this, I, I write in terms of x2. And I write this one and now differentiate this. So finally, after differentiation, I get this. And I take the components uh, out, ax1 into. So I have this one, x2 squared plus 2, plus 2 x2 minus 3 x2 squared. So this and this, they cancel. And you, I get this equation. So I take two common outside. And x2 also common, so I have 1 minus x2. So finally, I get this equation. So in the question, they asked to, to prove it. So I need to prove it using this equation. So when I have this equation, I write the v1, delta v1 here, and delta v2 here, then x1 and x2. And I take the common terms out. So here the common terms are ax2, ax2, x1, and I have x1. So I take this a x1, x2 out. Now I have this term here. So this is a term here. And now this term, I get it from here. And now I expand, so here all the terms are in terms of x1 and here there is x1, x2. So I convert this to 1 minus x1. So now I have uh, this relation and when I expand this, I get 2x1 minus 3x1, I have minus x1 plus 2x1 squared minus x1 squared, these two cancel out. And finally, I have 1 minus x1, which is nothing but x2. So I have delta v mix equals to a of x1, x2 squared. So hence proved, in the question, we have delta v mix is equals to a x1, x2 squared. So this is the a x1, x2 squared, with a is 2.7, x1, x2 squared, hence proved. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, please do comment below and let us know the content that you would like to see. Have a good day.